Hello everyone, welcome to WP Brim. In this tutorial, I will install and complete the settings of WP FastCache WordPress caching plugin. Okay, if your site runs so slow and if you want to speed up your WordPress website, then I think you should follow this video training and install WP FastCache plugin. So let's get to be started. And before I start, I have tested the page speed of my WordPress website here at get the name of the plugin and here I'm in the backend of my demo site and from the plugins section I'm going to hit this add new menu and I'm going to paste the plugin name here the first result is WP faster cache and I'm going to hit this install now button and it's time to activate okay I could successfully install WP Faster Cache plugin. It's time to complete all the setting options. Okay, just I'm going to click this link. Now I'm in the setting options panel here. And the first panel is settings. And the first thing we will do just enable the plugin. If you don't enable this plugin, then this plugin won't create cache files. Okay, just I'm going to check this on just enable this WordPress faster cache plugin okay then the next one is disabled because I'm going to check it here it says only premium on the premium version that means you can get widget cache options in the premium version okay then next one is preload create the cache all the sites automatically okay i'm just going to hit this on and which one should be preload and home page or any specific page or any tag okay attachment i would like to check it for on the home page okay locked in users that means at the moment i am locked in to this site but i think the locked in users should not get the cached version so don't show the cached version for locked in users i'm going to check this one and mobile version don't show the cached version for desktop to mobile device okay and mobile theme cache create cache for mobile theme it's available in the premium version of this plugin and new post what will happen for the new post clear cache files when a post or page is published it is important if your blog is very popular and you get in real time visitors huge number of real time visitors then you should clear cache when a new post is published okay because then the upcoming visitors will be able to see your post and update post when clear cache files when a page or post is updated of course you should clear if you don't do then the updation of the post won't be available to the current users or recently visited users i'm going to check this new post and clear all cache check for update post and minify html you can decrease the size of the page if you minify the html then your whole page will be minimized it will help to load the page faster okay minify html plus this feature is available in the pro version okay and minify css if you minify the resources of your website the html the css then it it will decrease the server loading time so it will makes your website faster okay and minify css plus it's available in the premium version so if you are interested to get this feature you can upgrade to the premium one combine css if you have many css files then each of the css file will create a http request in your server so if you combine the css files together 
then it will reduce the number of HTTP requests. It will minimize the server loading time and make your website faster. So it's a vital feature. I'm going to check this one and minify this the same thing, but it's available in the Pro version. Okay, and combine this. You should also combine this and combine this plus in the Pro version and ggzip. Ggzip will reduce the size of file sent from server and ggzip works well in the apache web server environment okay and browser caching i'm going to check this one and this two on available in the premium version okay then switch to the language if your language matches then click i'm just going to select english so now it's time to submit so I'm going to hit this submit button. Okay, let's see the delete cache section. Sometimes you may need to delete the cache files from your server and you will just hit this delete cache button and it will delete. From the next button you can delete cache and minified CSS and JS and if you need cache statistics you will have to upgrade to the premium version. Next step is cache tam timeout. You can set any rule when your cache time will run out and grab new cache. Okay. So and um, every day once every one minute once every five minutes I think it should be happen once an hour and just save and if requested URL all 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 and save again okay that means cache timeout will happen once an hour you can set it to once in a day once in a minute whatever so the next step is image optimization but unfortunately it's available in the premium version and how to upgrade to the premium version just discover features and check out if you want the features you can go through this and exclude you can exclude any page not to take cash and exclude cookies exclude js cs etc okay let's see the cdn and you can configure cdn setting from here Okay, if you have Mac CDN account, you can go through this. And if you want to process with other CDN providers, just hit on this. It will pop up a box. And here you will proceed. Here you will proceed with your CDN setting. Okay, and DB settings is also available in the premium version. Okay, now it's time to check my site. Okay, before I finish, I would like to introduce the WP Faster Cache website. And here you can get the features comparison of WP Faster Cache, WP Faster Cache Free, and other two WordPress cache plugins. So, so it's all about WP Faster Cache setting options. You can go through their articles and description documentation and hope you will able to properly set up this plugin okay and thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe like and share this video thank you